Hey there everyone, Ryan with the Frontline Animal Movement. Today I want to talk about trying new things and open to ideas and opinions and those how those things affect trapping. So let me show you my raccoon that I caught. Here's a raccoon that I caught. I caught him as a standard, you know, type trap. Put some bait in there. Raccoon walks in, gets caught. Nothing special about that. This year I've been catching more raccoons than I normally do. And I've been having greater success catching raccoons in my cage trap uh, than I normally do. Now historically I've always used sweet based baits. Raccoons have sweet tooth. They love sugary syrupy goodies. Well, us people, we like sugary sweet goodies too. A raccoon is very much like us. They're an omnivore. They go after protein um, and plant-based foods. Us humans, we eat protein, you know, animal and plant-based foods. If you look at our teeth, we got canines and incisors and molars. Raccoons are the same way. Raccoons will eat berries and apples and tomatoes and but then they also dig in the yard and they eat bugs and worms and they'll eat dead animals and if they can catch an animal they'll eat it as well. So like us, they're an opportunistic eater. They'll eat absolutely anything and everything. Well, a few years ago, I did some trapping at a lady's house. And it was her opinion that she was having problems with raccoons getting into her bird feeders. And it made sense. Because every morning she had to go out and fill up a bowl of mealworms that she put out for the bluebirds. And the bait that I was using wasn't catching the raccoons like it was supposed to. Or the skunks for that matter. So I decided to take a pile of her mealworms and put it in the trap. And what do you know? I caught raccoons and skunks using those mealworms. So I decided that I was going to start incorporating bugs as part of my bait program. Now one of the reasons why I've always used sweet sugary based baits with my raccoon traps is I'm trying to avoid catching kitty cats. Cats don't taste things that are sweet, they're only interested in protein. Raccoons love protein, I mean you put you know, cat food, fried chicken, beef, you know, anything savory and protein based in the trap, you'll catch raccoons, but then you may catch everything else. Well, that's where the bugs come in. See the bugs, you get a pile of them. Here's a pile of bugs here. Now these are cooked, these are prepared. They are seasoned. They actually smell, dare I say, good. They have a savory smell to them. Now, I have been successfully incorporating bugs into my trapping. And what I mean by successful is, it seems to help lure the raccoons in, and I'm still not catching cats. Even though it is a protein that cats you know, may be interested in because, well, cats crave protein. But I'm not catching kitty cats. And I'm really not catching any more possums than I normally do. I have caught a few more skunks, but that's okay because you know, they're trouble too. So if you're having trouble catching a raccoon, try using some bugs. Now you might wonder, well, where the heck do I find prepared bugs? Well, all you got to do is go to like a nature center that sells bird feeding stuff. You can buy this stuff at your typical uh, big box type of store where they have bird feeding uh, food, you know, bags of bird seed, bird feeders, um, sometimes your home stores or farm stores because they sell bird seed and you might find big bags of this stuff. This stuff is marketed for chickens. It's a high protein chicken treat. Emphasis on high protein. Chickens love this stuff. Well, it turns out raccoons like it too. And how do I use this? Well, I use it as a um, enticement. I sprinkle a little pile of bugs through the trap. So I don't have a pile in there. I want the raccoon to use his nose and follow those bugs into the trap. 
and lead him to the back. I don't want him eating them, I just want him smelling them. And because the, the bugs typically land underneath the bars of the trap, it's not like he's going to really be able to reach down and grab them. He can get a couple, he's going to have to work at it. And I think that's part of the part of the trick. The raccoon's got to work to get to those bugs, so he's going to work the bottom of the trap over to get get those you know nice tasty bugs out of there. And as he's working on the bottom of the trap, he's going to step on the pan and set the trap off. So now, when I set my raccoon traps, I use a little bit of bugs and a little bit of my traditional sweet bait, and I've been catching more raccoons more easily. It's not a cure-all, but it's just a helpful tool in my arsenal of, of uh, baits. So if you can do some trapping on your own and you're having trouble luring that raccoon in, try some uh, uh, high protein chicken treats. You know, the bug line. Thank you.